A warning tonight about a bacteria traveling through a mountain school. Three cases of MRSA, a staff superbug, have been identified at North Buncombe High School. News 13's Ingrid Allstead joins us with tonight's top story. Ingrid, who has contracted this skin infection? Members of the North Buncombe football team. The school is now taking every precaution to stop the spread of this potentially deadly infection. This may be one of the cleanest gyms in Western North Carolina. The mats freshly wiped, the walls, the floors, all sprayed with disinfectant. The hand sanitizer is just waiting for another pump. We also began sterilizing our locker rooms, our weight rooms, our training rooms every night. Even cleaning between classes at North Buncombe High. This after two cases of MRSA surfaced the first week in September. I started getting these uh, marks on my arm. I thought they were nothing. They were starting like bleeding out stuff, all this nasty stuff, and then it just kept on getting bigger and bigger. One of the cases was offensive lineman Zach Crowder, saying he caught the bacteria in the gym. This is a scar from us right around here. That little. But despite the deep cleaning, I washed my helmet and shoulder pads down. Three weeks later, I cut it Thursday. In the in the weight room, teammate Tyler Shelton contracted the bacteria too. Pretty much, my calf and my ankle were the same size. MRSA is here in the community. Tips on proper hygiene are being distributed to parents and students. Most important, always in public health, is washing your hands. Along with information on what MRSA looks like. Start out just almost looking like a little pimple, but that pimple can grow to a good size boil. And it's usually red and warm to the touch. And as it gets larger, you will get a pus inside it. It's a bacteria that's common within schools, but something manageable if caught early and surfaces kept clean. MRSA is treated with antibiotics, but if it's not treated, the infection can spread rapidly and progress to life-threatening blood or bone infections. Since the bacteria is not reported to the health department, they don't have a count on the number of cases, but say this year is not worse than any other.